Intermittent fasting IF is a magical method to lose weight and to improve overall health. Many people are confused about intermittent fasting. So, I am going to talk about the common questions. Is intermittent fasting good or not? What should you eat when you are in the eating window? And how does intermittent fasting actually cause weight loss? How does fat loss happen? How does your overall health improve? We are going to understand all the answers in this video. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that alternates between periods of eating and fasting. Rather than focusing on what to eat, it emphasizes when to eat. It is not a diet, but it is an eating pattern. Intermittent fasting is a very popular method in recent times. Fasting pairs well with weight loss and improving metabolic health. Intermittent fasting not only reduces weight but also keeps the body away from various diseases. This fasting actually requires eating at a specific time of the day. After that, this fasting phase continued for a long time. Now, how does this IF work? Look, when you eat, it contains protein, carbohydrates and fat. Regardless of what you eat on average, the energy you seek from these foods comes largely through carbohydrates or glucose. As you eat after eating, this food starts to be absorbed in the stomach and small intestine. What happens is that this carbohydrate is broken down into glucose. This glucose is absorbed into the blood. And as the glucose level begins to rise, you will see that two hormones around your digestive system begin to slowly increase their activity. One of these two hormones is glucagon and the other is insulin. Insulin is produced by the beta cells of the pancreas and this insulin is released into the blood. The job of insulin is to balance the blood glucose and take the excess glucose into your liver cells. So, insulin acts as a gatekeeper. The liver stores excess glucose as glycogen. Later, when blood glucose is needed, especially during fasting, that glycogen is broken down to form glucose. Glucagon will give that signal. Glucagon is produced by the alpha cells of the pancreas. Mechanism, the magical benefits of IF is that because you fast for a long time, for a particular time, then your fuel source is nothing but the stored fat in adipose tissue. The fat in adipose tissue converts into free fatty acids and it converts into additional metabolic fuel in the liver and you use it as energy. So instead of burning glucose, glycogen, your body starts burning stored fat for energy leading to potential weight loss and metabolic benefits. Basically, the common idea is that the overall calorie intake during the day should be reduced and that to the at the right time. Fasting also triggers cellular repair process and can improve insulin sensitivity. Here are some common methods and key aspects of intermittent fasting. Popular methods 16 by 8 method, also known as Langin's protocol. This involves fasting for 16 hours each day and eating during an 8 hour window. For example, eating between 12 pm and 8 pm and fasting from 8 pm to 12 pm the next day. 5 is to 2 diet involves eating normally for 5 days of the week and restricting calories usually around 500 to 600 for the remaining 2 days. Eat, stop, eat entails fasting for 24 hours once or twice a week. For example, not eating from dinner one day until dinner the next day. Alternate day fasting involves alternating between days of normal eating and days of fasting or significantly reduced calorie intake. Health benefits. One, weight loss by reducing calorie intake and increasing fat burning. 
it can lead to weight loss it is not muscle loss but fat loss it improved metabolic health it can enhance insulin sensitivity it improves cholesterol levels it is cellular health fasting stimulates autophagy a process where cells remove damaged components which may contribute to longevity and disease prevention relief from pocd type 2 diabetes reduce inflammation improves cardiovascular measures promotes longevity promotes brain health enhances focus concentration and mood harmful effects some people who should not try intermittent fasting include children and teens pregnant or breastfeeding women people with diabetes who take insulin or other medications to treat diabetes people with eating disorders people with kidney stones or gastroesophageal reflux people with cancer people taking medication that need to be taken with food people who work the night shift or operate heavy machinery people practice vigorous workouts people with weak immunity consideration is individual differences effectiveness and sustain suitability can be vary based on individual health conditions lifestyles and personal preferences medical advice consulting with a healthcare provider is recommended especially for people with chronic health conditions medications or specific dietary needs nutritional balance it is important to consume a balanced diet with adequate nutrients during eating periods in this case along with protein and carbohydrate foods nuts and seeds should be kept in the diet at this time it is important to eat foods that can keep the body functioning normally during long fasting so proper diet planning is also important for intermittent fasting